Now I have to say, that came out really, really sharp. x reached out to me and asked if I wanted to uh, give their new F1 laser a test drive. I said, sure, why not? As long as I only need one foot to drive it. And here it is, the x F1. Ultra fast infrared blue light gavel laser. Huh. I have to say, it's got some real nice retail packaging here. You don't really see that very often from other laser manufacturers. So let's go over a few things. The F1 has two types of lasers, a 10 watt 455 nanometer, good for like organics, and a 2 watt 1064 nanometer, good for like metals. And it is fast. How fast? Up to 4,000 millimeters per second fast, thanks to its gavel head. Oh, and it's pretty darn portable. If a guy with one leg like myself could carry it, I'm sure you can as well. Um, yeah, my mailbox is across the street. That would take a long extension cord to do that. And since it has that galvanometer, man, and it could, it's got some nice precision here too. Look at the fine details. Yeah, you can zoom in all you want there. Looks pretty darn nice. And it supports up to like 300 materials. It has like outline mode. It works on iPad and light burn. And it's got protective shield. Hey, hey, you're opening the wrong end. Yeah, I went the wrong way. But I was still able to open the top of the box. At first, you think that you have a nice beefy manual, but uh, it's got like 11 languages. So that's, you only get about I don't know, 10 or 11 pages, and that's about it. You have a nice lint-free cloth to wipe down your lens. This is called a triangular prism to lift your work surface up so you can get uh, the laser to go underneath without charring. And you have a power cord in this box. And in here, this box is a little heavy. And yep, a whole bunch of sample materials from metal to woods and plastics, acrylics. And they call this a pipe. Well, I think I would call it a flexible hose. And this is in there pretty darn tight. But it has like a softer plastic to help keep it from being scratched. I'd say the packaging is top notch. Now we have to remove four pieces of tape that's along the edges here just to keep it anything from shifting around. And last piece. Now let's go ahead and open it up here. And we got some more goodies inside. They call this the L shaped positioning piece. And this is just your removable plate for your work surface. Let's go ahead and remove uh, these pieces of foam here. Nice and chunky. It's nice that this uh, is removable because then you could uh, actually remove that plate and engrave below the work surface if you so choose. Nice little package. This is your focusing knob and start job. This is to press for your framing. And this is all your indicating panel for your light that's behind that focusing knob. USB for your rotary and one to plug into a computer. You got your power and power switch. And look, you have a key. This is actually a key USB to prevent anyone from using it. You do get a spare as well. You got a smoke purifier USB and an expansion port on the back. Another USB-C. This is your emergency stop button. It's good to always have. It's actually in a pretty good spot. Now, I did also receive their smoke purifier. It's uh, designed to work with the F1. And the user manual just basically covers the basics of just hooking it up and how it works. And in the box, hey, we got some more um, tubing. Okay, flexible pipe. And we have a nice tightly packed uh, air purifier with that same nice uh, packaging plastic. And what's nice about this purifier is that it will turn on when the F1 is running. Look at the size of this filter. Huge. All right, it's pretty simple to attach. Let's uh, hook up the USB. Oh, this is satisfying. I can do this all day. Attach your hoses. 
and then go ahead and plug in your power. I would suggest labeling those power bricks. And let's remove the lens cap. And to focus again, let's just move this jog knob and combine the blue and the red dots. Plug the USB into your computer, launch the Xtool Creative Suite, and let's talk about today's video sponsor. Are you looking for a PCB manufacturer? Well, look no further. PCB Way offers standard PCBs, advanced PCBs, flexible and rigid PCBs. They offer assembly as well. Do you need SMD or stencils? They do that. Also, they do CNC and 3D printing. That's pretty cool. Even do sheet metal <laughs> and injection molding. You want to work on a project? Just head on over to the shared projects area. Find a project that you may want to work on, order it, and go ahead and start learning all about electronics. It's a great way to get started. So be sure to check out PCB Way for all your PCB needs. I would like to thank PCB Way for sponsoring today's video of the Xtool F1, the fastest portable laser engraver with IR and diode laser. And now it is disclaimer time. Yes, disclaimers. Safety first. This video is for entertainment purposes only. You are following these instructions at your own risk. Always wear approved eye protection. People and animals not wearing protection should stay away. I am not responsible if you do not become a pro after watching this video. I am operating this laser in a well-ventilated area and I'll be using a fume extracting unit or I'll vent it outside. I would suggest that you do the same. A lot of these um, off gases could be very, very harmful. So please, please use the correct safety precautions when using these machines. It's really nice that they give you this sample pack. This is uh, some acrylic, it's black, and some uh, metal coated business cards, some fake leather, two coasters, it looks like pine, and you got some various, uh, looks like uh, stainless steel tags, you got a rocket coaster and some um, black paper type stuff and you got some basswood looks like three millimeters not a bad starter pack first we're going to go ahead and frame out uh, our little coaster here as you can see you get two framing options and let's kick off our first engraving and this was done at uh, 75 percent power at 175 millimeters per second with two passes I don't know if the second pass is necessary, but it did a really good job. It's got pretty nice deep engraving, and it stands out pretty nicely. Okay, let's test out a rock coaster. And all the files will be listed below where I got them from. So this was at 70% power at 120 millimeters per second and one pass. Some people spray a clear coat on it. I think that kind of defeats the purpose of a coaster because you want to absorb some of the moisture, don't you? So I think it came out really nice. So I decided I'm going to do a little bit more. So I got this 12 pack for $17.99 off of Amazon. Links will be in the description below. And let's do a batch of these. What do you say? So it looks like in about an hour, I could do 12 of them. Hey, let me know in the comments below how much you think I could sell these for. I paid $17.99 for it. And um, how much is my time worth? So now I have this 24-pack uh, of wood coasters. And it's $24.99 from Amazon. And we're going to actually use the same settings. 70% power, 120 millimeters per second, and one pass. Let's see how many I could get done. And of course, since it's the same design and it's the same speed, same power, and as you see, same amount and about the same amount of time. As you see, came out real nice for one pass and um, batch processing is pretty darn easy. Now those tests were with the blue laser the 455 nanometer. Now we're going to test the IR which is the 1064 nanometer. It's really good for metals. Done at 100% power, 15 millimeters per second and one pass. It's a lot easier to see without the <laughs> reflections here but that is very crisp. Very, very easy to read. Minus the reflections, of course, but man, came out really nice. What do you think? Now, say that you bought this laser to sell products. And sometimes you're going to engrave things that maybe you don't like. 
Now this is a PMAG. If you don't know what it is, go ahead and look it up. And engraving PMAGs is a very, very profitable thing to do. And um, you can see with the IR, you get some amazing results on this uh, polymer. I think it's a polymer. I must have uh, done about 20 tests to get this type of results. Yeah. So just go ahead and pause it and write down all my settings. Hopefully it works for you. Uh, I mean, it. this came out better than the IR for the, uh, the D1. I mean, it's because it's also, I had this at 300 DPI, so you could really see the details on this. It's amazing the color change that happens when using the IR on this, uh, this plastic or whatever it is. But look at the Look at the detail here. Again, you're going to be possibly selling products that you may not like, but other people will. And this, I'm telling you, these PMAGs, you customize them for people, they will just fly off the shelves here. Now, with an IR, if you do different speeds, you get different colors. So we're doing this same uh, bear is awesome on this, uh, you know, this tag here, and it's 100% power, 10 millimeters per second, and one pass. And it's pretty darn crisp. However, if we start messing around with like the power and the speed, we could actually affect some of the colors of this because it's uh, annealing the metal a little bit differently. So here, all I did was up the speed to 30 at 100% power. And now look, I have almost like a blue color. All materials would behave differently. The settings that I'm showing you now may not work for you. So please always test before you start doing a big batch. Now what about jewelry? Okay, so I got this from Xtool. It's just a little charm necklace. I'm going to do an outline here. And I'm going to do it at 100% power, 15 millimeters per second, and one pass. And I'm going to just let this run through. So this is real time that you're seeing this engrave. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to alternate sides. So I'm going to put my daughter's name here, which is Madison. Yes, with two Ds. The wife had to be a little bit different. And uh, then I'm going to put her boyfriend's name on the other sides. So it's going to alternate Madison. Alex, Madison, and then Alex. Well, that's almost done. So let's see what the results look like once it's done. Now you won't be able to do this with the regular 455 nanometer diode laser. You have to use the IR. All right, let's go ahead and see how this turned out. Get in focus. Ah, perfect. Nice and permanent. And this is like the stainless steel or silver. So let's go ahead and try the, the gold finish. And it's definitely nice using the jig, but you want to outline it because that little uh, <laughs> loop in the, is not exactly the same on each one. But wow, this actually came out really nice and centered. Getting the hang of it. Again, you want to test your metals first. Sacrifice piece. I have to say, I wound up using the same settings for both, and they both came out nice. Now, I really didn't ask which one's uh, for who, so they're going to have to fight over it. <laughs> yes, causing fights by making jewelry for my daughter and her boyfriend. But hopefully they enjoy it, and let's go ahead and test something else out. And what's unique about this is that now we could actually use both lasers for one job without having to switch. So right here, I am using acrylic. I'm using the IR at 90% power, 100 millimeters per second, and two passes for all the lettering. Then I'm using the blue laser at 100% power, 4 millimeters per second, and 3 passes to cut it out. And I uh, might have been able to do it with 2 passes, but look at that. Lift it right out. And let's take a look. It's pretty cool what the IR will do for uh, the colors. All right, Made it nice and white. And, and because the laser is going on angle, you'll get kind of an angle cut. Oh, a little piece there and it fell right out. I think that came out very sharp and nice. So where are my thoughts of the X-Tool F1? Well, let's just say I did a lot of testing. A lot. And um, I really didn't want to stop. I did all of this in about 
six hours or less. Think about what you can do uh, for a craft fair. I mean, it's just amazing. It's fast and it works very, very well. And it could engrave practically anything. I like that it's enclosed. It has its own protective shield. Also, it has an exhaust. So you can exhaust out a window if you so choose not to get the filtration system. And all the testing was done on Xtools software. I didn't even use Lightburn. Their software has come a long way. Now I did notice two things with the, all the testing. Now this was um, after about four hours of use. The fan is very, very dirty. However, your experiences might be a little bit different. Now don't get me wrong, I'm glad that it is pulling all this stuff out of the air. So we're not breathing it in. I had a discussion on Twitter about this and we were kind of discussing maybe a pre-filter for this. A filter before the fan. Now I did bring this to Xtool's attention and they really had a good point. They didn't want anything to like any filters to catch on fire or anything. So that's why there's no filter there. However, if you look in the manual, they were aware of this and the fan is easy to remove and clean. And next is, there's no safety goggles that come with this. You're solely relying on the protective shield, which works great. But there's going to be items that are too big in here, and you'll be exposed to that the laser light. So, next tool, provide safety goggles. The exhaust is really, really good. So, if you're engraving something light, fasten it down. Overall, I really think that X-Tool nailed it with this. It just works, and it works really, really well, right out of the box. Hopefully, I've given you all the information you need to decide if this is the correct machine for you. Personally, I think Xtool nailed it. It works, and it works great. I've had absolutely no issues with it. So, if you are looking to purchase it, I have affiliate links below, and currently Xtool is running a promotion. So, go ahead and check that out as well in the links below. I really appreciate you tuning in to Tripod's Garage. Please have a wonderful day, evening, or weekend, or whenever you decide to watch this video. Thanks again for tuning in. Catch you the next time on Tripod's Garage.